Hello everyone. Welcome to our course Azure Kubernetes Services or AKS Deep Dive, which covers in depth a deep dive for AKS and Kubernetes. This video is part of this course and will cover demo three and lesson three in module two, which is doing several actions using Docker commands. This video is part of module two, understanding and working with Docker. And this is where the video is located in the current module. So let's start doing several actions using Docker command. In this demo, we will see and learn how to clone a .NET Core sample application, which is IP repaired on a GitHub repo. So you can build a sample web application using Docker containers. Then we will understand how to build the Docker image from the Docker file using the build command. Don't worry about the build command. We are not going to explain that in details now. There are more details in the coming lessons about build commands and how we can use it. And after that, we will learn how to run the container, including the web app, so we can access the web application and then start and stop the container and see how this will be reflected on our web application that hosted in the running container. And then we will get an overview about some of the important commands for Docker, like for example, exact command or push or inspect, history, export, import, CB, and many other commands. Before we start, let me give you a quick introduction about myself. My name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a developer technologies MVP and principal DevOps consultant. I have been doing software development for more than 17 years now, working on several projects for different enterprise customers across different regions and countries. For more info about me, you can review lesson one in module one. So we will start by navigating to the Git repo under my account, which is called .NET Docker. And then you can clone this repo or maybe just download the zip file. It's up to you. I will just download it and open folder here. And then I'm going to extract this zip file which include all the file of the project. And then navigate back to my extracted files and just paste here the folder or the directory. And then navigate to samples, asp.net app. And here we can find the Docker file. So this Docker file written in order to build the image that will hold the web application using .NET Core. Again, this Docker file in details and the, the Docker build command will be discussed in the coming lessons. So this is just an overview. And also just for your information, this Docker file built using a multi-stage capabilities. And this is to enhance building the image. We will get more details in the future lessons, but just for now to understand that we will using this Docker file to build the image. And let's close that. And now I just copy the path and open my command line. And here I will navigate to this path. And I will just type Docker images. So as we can see, I just have one image, which is Ubuntu, and then type here Docker build pool T ASP net app. And to just explain to you what this command is doing. So here I'm just building the Docker image from my Docker file with switch pool, it means that always pull the latest image instead of using the local image. So if you look at the Docker file, you will find that it use a base image. And the pool here, it just means that don't get 
the local image or don't use the local image, just pull the latest image. The switch T, this is for the tag or the repo name, which is in my case, ASB net app space dot dot here means that the local directory so the build command will look for a file called docker file in the current directory to build the docker images this is exactly the explanation of the command and again i'm going to explain that in more details in the future lessons so this will run and build the image and as we can see this is a multi-stage build this is why you will see stages so this is stage one two three as you can see this is stage two which is just compile the application run the unit test and copy the app to the docker image let's now display the image so as we can see now i have two images so besides the first image which is ubuntu i have the second image which is i just built using the docker file which is the ACB net app. So now if I type Docker and inspect to inspect my new image, we can see now this is the layers of the new image. Let's run the container. So Docker run IT interactive and give a container a name, which is web. And here for the port, just mapping the port 8080 to internal port 80 and here is the name of the repo so this will create a container and as we can see I just enabled the firewall so now the container is running with a web app so let me open another command line so we can run some other commands so here I'm going to run docker BS to understand the current running containers. So as we can see, we have two running container. First container, which is called the web, and this container expose port 8080. And as we can see, this container created from an image called ASB Net App. Let's try to open the browser and navigate to our web application hosted in the container. So we'll just type localhost and give port 8000 so this is the web app which is running on the container so here i will just stop the container in my case it's web this is the name i just gave to my container and if we refresh here we can see now the web app stopped because i stopped the container let's start the container again just instead of a stop, I will say start web. This will restart or start the container again. And by doing refresh, I can access my web app. Okay, I'm going to give a very high overview about important commands for Docker. So first, let's close this one. So for example, let's say Docker exec. And I will just display help. So this command will be used so I can run a command on the given container. So just imagine that if I want to run or execute command on the container, I can just using exact command. Another important command is docker inspect. This command gives me a low level information about the image or the objects. So it's very important to understand. For example, you saw me inspecting the image and I saw how many layers I have in the image. Another important command is Docker history, which shows me or give me information about the history of an image. Another one is Docker push which used to push an image to a registry, either public or private. Another important command is export, which export a Docker container as a tar file system for archiving. Another one is import, which imports the content from a tarpole to create a file system image. And another one is CP, which used to read tar file. And another one is log, which is very important. 
because in this one I can see all the logs of an image or a container for example if I say logs web for my container we can see all the actions that happen to my container if I am running now the PS to display all the running container so just run logs for the second container which is con1 so we can see here all the commands I running during that running container docker history this is for giving an image I can see the full history of that image at the end I would like to thank you for watching this video if you have any question or inquiry don't hesitate to reach out thank you Thank you.